Welcome back everyone to another updated video. Uh, this one's going to be really quick on the switcher and platform door. So uh, not much has changed, but a few things, uh, I think just one little thing, but better off just updating it. So uh, let me just delete all this and there you go. So what you guys are going to need to go and do is go into your content browser. Uh, I just like going into BP already, so I don't have like a million things in my way and go to uh, so uh, content browser objects and go to BP objects and then in here we're gonna write platform and drag in BP platform door all right cool so next is we need something to actually interact with it if you want uh, not that one <laughs> uh, so BP switcher 2 is the one I'm gonna select for this tutorial all right, and uh, it starts on on, so just I'm gonna flip it to off right away. And next is something for the actual switch to connect to as power. So with the switch selected, uh, scroll down under electric, electric component right here, connect to, hit the little plus sign, drop down, and put it to general switch. All right. And platform door, go to the electric section, which I probably passed. There it is. Hit the plus, bang, and switch your two. And next is right here in the details panel, you have platform door, static mesh, platform. Just click on platform, and you can actually change the end location. So, like, I don't like it going up and down. So I'm just going to put it side to side. So say uh, a negative 200 on the x axis. And you can basically rotate it, scale it, or whatnot. You can also change the speed of the opening and closing uh, of the gate itself. Quite, uh, quite easy. So there you go. Pretty easy. Now you got a gate. So hope that helped. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.